Natural essential oils to combat fungal infections. Natural essential oils are becoming increasingly popular as an effective treatment for fungal infections. Essential oils have been used in traditional medicine for centuries, and now they're gaining recognition from the scientific community. Studies show that certain essential oils can be used to combat fungal infections with minimal side effects and no risk of developing antibiotic resistance. Tea tree oil is one of the most commonly studied natural remedies against fungus, particularly Candida albicans which is responsible for many common skin conditions such as athlete's foot, jock itch, ringworm, and yeast infections. Tea tree oil has antifungal properties that help reduce inflammation caused by fungi while also inhibiting their growth on affected areas of skin or nails when applied topically or taken orally in a diluted form. Another powerful antifungal remedy is oregano oil which contains carvacrol, a compound known to fight off bacterial infection while having little effect on healthy cells around it making it safe even if ingested directly, though we still recommend diluting it before use. Oregano oil works by disrupting cell membranes within fungi colonies thus preventing them from spreading further throughout your body or onto other people you come into contact with. This makes oregano one of the best preventative treatments available today. The lavender essential oil has also been found useful against various types of fungi like Aspergillus niger and Fusarium oxysporum due to its ability to inhibit their growth. When exposed directly through topical application, lavender can even be diffused aromatically into rooms where there may be high levels of airborne spores present so you don't have to worry about breathing them in unintentionally. If you're suffering from any type of fungal infection then consider using natural essential oils instead. Not only will they provide relief but research suggests these plant extracts could potentially save us all from developing antibiotic-resistant strains down the line too.